Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reading once again uh, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Every story whispers his name. So, that said, we were on this page. I still have the little bookmark, which is a little piece of paper. But anyways, um, so Adam and Eve had been, um, you know, basically... Um, sent away from their home um, because they had, uh, you know, <sighs> disobeyed God and now they had to go somewhere else. However, God did provide and uh, made some clothes for them. So, let's see. Yep, they're all, they're sad now, definitely. Is her hair wet or is that just the art? I think it's the art. Anyways, so. Oops, oops, spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, so it says, but not in this story. What? I don't have to go back. Alright, so it says, well, in another story, it would be over and that would have been the end. Oh, okay. So, your long journey away from home. Okay. But not in the story. God loved his children too much to let the story end there. Even though he knew he would suffer, God made sorry. God had a plan. A significant a magnificent dream. One day he would get his children back. One day he would make the world their perfect home again. Amen. And one day he would wipe away every tear from their eyes. <sighs> Happy tears, I can already see it. You see, no matter what, in spite of everything, God would love his children with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. And though they would forget him and run from him, deep in their hearts, God's children would miss him always and long for him. Lost children, yearning for their home. So, for those that don't know, this means that they want. They want something. They miss it. They want it. They they need it. And I honestly felt like that in college. I, I was so distant from God. I I had, well, not forgotten him, but I had run. I have ran from him. I ran from him back then. I was so away from God. God hadn't moved. I moved. And it was just so depressing i wanted something more than just my life i wanted to be part of so much more something greater and i missed going to church because you know we have that unity in church and um i wasn't even a child of god back then because i hadn't received christ but um you know after that after receiving him wow i learned so much it's amazing it's, it's amazing to know that i am i am I belong to God now. No longer to the world, no longer belonging to the enemy, but to God. Beautiful. As that said, before they left the garden, God whispered a promise to Adam and Eve. I will not always be so. I will come to rescue you. Oh, it will not always be so. I will come to rescue you. And when I do, I am going to do battle against the snake. I'll get rid of the sin and the dark and the sadness you led in here. I am, I'm coming back for you. And he would one day, God himself would come. And he did. He did. Alright, so we continue with the book of Genesis. And we are now talking about Noah. So, a new beginning. Time passed, and more people filled the earth. Everyone everywhere had forgotten about God. Basically, they were living their own life, and were only doing bad things at the time. God's heart was filled with pain when he saw what had happened to the world he loved. Everywhere was disease and death and destruction, all the things God hates most. Now Noah was God's friend. Which was odd in those days because no one else was. No one listened to God. He asked. He talked to God. 
He just loved being with God, like you do with your best friend. Noah, God said, things have gone wrong. People have filled my world with hate instead of love. They are destroying themselves and each other and my world. I must stop them. First, we'll build an ark. Do you know how to build an ark? Neither did Noah. Luckily, God knew and he would show him. Of course, because God is creator, and so he knew. He knew what was needed and what needed to be done. So he provided everything, all the measurements, all the materials that he would need. He provided them. He provided with all the instructions so he would have everything he would need for him, his family, and the animals. So, we're going to stop here because uh, I want small videos. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, five minutes is not five minutes wasted if it's it with the Lord. So, uh, well, make that six minutes now. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. We read, how much was that? Two pages? Two pages. Two pages. That That is amazing. Two pages in six minutes. That's awesome. I felt like I didn't explain that much. I should talk more. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, so yes, um. Things were bad, and God has a plan. And this is barely Genesis. So imagine how many more things we are going to read about that are in God's plan. Amazing. Beautiful. And this is all possible because we have the Bible. We have these stories and these testimonies of what God has done in people's lives. So amazing. With that said, I hope God blesses you today. That you get to know Him a little more and get to know jesus um just trust in them god bless